Wildlife farming is defined as the rearing of neotropical or non-domesticated animals for the purpose of captive breeding. The term neotropical is used to describe the terrestrial wildlife of the Caribbean. So this was back in about 2008 at one of the conferences in, um, in Brazil. I suggested to them that let us start using the term neotropical animals. Neo meaning new, tropics, new tropics, the tropics of the new world, because it gives us a better um, imprint or a better logo or a better caption that will certify our type of animals as against using the term wildlife, which includes the animals of North America, the animals of Asia, the animals of Africa. And all those animals have gotten a lot of attention from the North Atlantic world, Europeans and North Americans. But there has been very little investment in research in our animals of the Central America, South America and the Caribbean or the New World Tropics. Yes. My name is Rajesh Bajan and I'm an agriculture research officer here at the Geography Center. How old are you? 32. 32. What did you study at UE and, and how, what is the exact um, course that you're doing at your MSc? Oh, I did um, the BSc in Agriculture Science and currently my MSc is Tropical Animal Science and Production. How do you see yourself in the future with this, um, with after, what, what happens after the MSc? Well, I plan to go on to the MPhil level where I will be working um, mainly with these animals, mostly capybara, and PhD level with these animals also. I developed a website and I have a PhD student who is putting together the information on new tropical animals so that it will be more easily available to people at all levels, to research students, to undergraduate students, to policy makers, to farmers, and to the general public. And my key theme is neotropical animal conservation, production, and utilization. There's three things that are linked, production, conservation, and utilization. Why? If you don't have production, you can't conserve. If you lock up animals in a, a forest, ultimately, people will go and destroy the animals. If you don't know anything about the animal's biology, you cannot do anything to conserve the animal. Because to conserve an animal, means that the animal must be living in viable reproducing populations. As a result, it means that you have to be able to produce these animals so they could be conserved because biological species can only be conserved if they are reproducing. And therefore, the key to conservation is to be able to understand, to understand the animal's biology two aspects of the animal's biology, animal digestive system, what the animal eats, how its system works, and the animal's reproductive system, because we have to get the animals to eat and grow, and we have to get the animals to reproduce, and then we study the animal behavior, and we house the animals. So, in essence, if we are to conserve even if we don't want to consume, let's say everybody becomes vegetarian and they don't want to consume the animals, no problem. But the only way you can conserve the animal is you have to be able to get the animals to reproduce. So you have to have a production system. And you have to give the animal value. So you have to use the animal. Because if you don't use the animal, Nobody will value the animal, and you will lose the animal. But they come 
commercialization of wildlife appears to have some potential from an economic point. You don't have to really look at foreign exchange and food from outside. What, what are your views on that? You correct, I would say. These animals, I will go back a bit, these animals are indigenous to our country, right? They adapted to our tropical environment. They are the perfect animal for our environment. They do not depend on concentrate. Concentrate feed. Concentrate feed is basically imported feed. The raw material imported, the manufacturers, the feed mills, combine this into a pelleted form and sell. These animals will consume whatever fruits there is available, wild fruits, um, the citruses that we have here, they will consume that. They will even consume forages, grass. Right? For that we look at the red rocket there, for example, that animal consume forages, the red rocket and the capybara will consume forages that our domestic animal would not dare consume. Right? So there is the potential for it, for it to become a marketing trend.